Do you believe that a, a man should have more than one wife? Yes, but before I answer that question, uh, there's no slut way, maker. There's no way we can avoid the mistake of old without learning from the past. Romans 15 and 4 says, whatsoever is written aforetime is written for our learning. So now we have to know the mistakes we made. But the mistake was to turn away from God. How do we turn away from God? We didn't turn away from God by just turning our back and walking away from him. By following the civil rights leaders. No, you got to go before that. But by before that, we were doing fine. No, no, no. That ain't what I mean. By turning away from every culture instead of following ours. So take a black family. You got have a black family. When I was black growing man. up, we, there was no such thing as following culture. What we did was we followed God. The cultural thing not, only became apparent became to the forefront where black people fell away from God and family. Now, what black people knew back then before civil rights was that family had to be together. Yes. But their, con but their concept of God still came from white Christianity. It didn't come from having an identity. No, that's there why is no color to Christianity. That's a, there's no, you're right. There's no color to Christianity. So why do you say white Christianity? There's no such thing as white Christianity. There are white no, Christians, but not white Christianity. There's no color to Christianity, right. but there is color that matters to God. What? Example, there is color that matters to God. Color doesn't matter to God at all. I'm going to tell you why. The greatest alpha male to ever exist, Jesus Christ, is a black man. But no white oh, person will Lord. be black. Oh, Lord. What the? You must not know the Bible, Jesse. You, what you, fall, the? You, fall, you fall into the fallen state for sure. Amazing. <laughs> you got the right name of the show. So, so now there was a guy by the name of Officer uh, Chaziza Shataza. Kataza. Kataza. Yeah. And um, he said that the white man is a born natural psychopathic, monarchical, lying killer. Is that true? You believe that? Absolutely. What the? Why wouldn't I? Oh, Look. my God. Let me ask. So you believe that a man should have more than one wife? I don't believe that a man should because every man is not. Every man don't have to have do you more man, than one. You believe that a man could? Yes. And do you have more than one wife? Whether what I have is irrelevant. But a man can have more than one wife. That's lawful to God. And do you have more than one wife? That's irrelevant. Why is that irrelevant? You're the leader. I'm not the leader. Commander Jenny Hanna is our leader. But you're so necessarily with Commander Jenny Hanna. Do you have more than one wife? That's irrelevant. I'm not next to him. Well, I'm like, I'm, I'm captain of 13,000. There are other captains. Oh, okay. But why is that irrelevant? You are the example for the other men, right? Right. And so as an example, do you have more than one wife? As the example for other men, men know that they can have no wife, one wife, or 12. And so the, do you have more than one? That's, that's irrelevant. Why is that irrelevant? If you are my leader, I want to know what my leader does. I want to do it too. You know what a leader does? A leader knows how to be in charge of men. And so, so, if I was, so let me answer. So if I was to sit here and say how many I have, me being a leader, I know that there may be some men that want to emulate that that may not be ready. So I'm not going to say how many I have. What I am going to say, though, is a leader as a man, you can have none, one, or 12. How many you have? That's irrelevant. You mean one, between one and 10. That's irrelevant. No, to me, I want to know, because I can run out and get me a few extra ones. Well, you got to come to class, because you can't be a beta getting wives. That's why I won't give the answer <laughs> you want. Oh... <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> and um, so what I got to do, man, this has been so much fun. Um, yeah. Did you vote for the Great White Hope? Hell no. Nah. I ain't vote for nobody. Why not? Because we have who, I, who God wanted us to have. Did That's you vote Jesus for the fallen Messiah? No. Uh, you know Donald Trump, right? I mean Barack Obama, I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I didn't vote for him either. You didn't, why you didn't vote for the fallen Messiah, Big Mama? God, God gave us our king, president, ruler, and authority, and that's Jesus Christ. Right. So why did you vote is the question. The, if you believe in God, why did you vote to have anybody rule? The scripture don't say God, Christ, Trump, man, woman. The scripture say God, Christ, man, woman. So why did you mess up the authority? Because he sent uh, the great white hope, Donald Trump, to run our country. He's working in Donald Trump 
to make America great again. Give me chapter verse. So you saying that white man ruling over black people is what God wanted? He's not ruling over them. He is, is uh, he? ruling over the country. He's making the country better for the voters. You know, that's what a president or king does, rules. Well, he's not ruling. Obama tried to, but it didn't work. I ain't talking about Obama. I'm talking about Trump. Trump is not ruling over anyone. Well, he ain't ruling over nobody now because he's about to get kicked out. But he was ruler, president of the United States. He's the ruler over the United States. Are you the head of your wife? Hell yeah. Are you the head of all your wives? That's irrelevant. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an alpha, Jesse. I try to tell you, you ain't going to get me. What is the state of black women around America today? The state of black women is black women have been the most seduced woman on the planet. She's seduced to think that she don't need a man, even though she'll let a man have sex with her. She, oh, she's she the only lied. She's the only one that's taught her independence requires her to be single, requires her to not have a head or authority. In the Israelite school of UPK, we retrain that black woman. There's nothing greater on the face of the planet than a black woman. But she also has to be educated or re-educated. That's why I did my lecture called The Miseducation of the Black Woman, where I show the black woman she's far greater than what she could ever be listening to a so-called white man telling her to abort her baby, put a man on child support, kick him out the house. So why, the black woman, why is the black, what's the state of the black man? And why is he so weak? He allows the woman to make him do those things. Well, the black man is weak because the white man and his supremacy removed the black man out of the house with the assistance of the black woman. So you have all these sons that have been allowed to grow up without male masculinity around them to show them how to be strong. So that's why you have so many more homosexuals, black men that don't know what to do with their lives. They don't know how to be parents because no child, and this goes for daughters too. Yeah. A child growing up without a mother and father, you're not seeing how a household is supposed to run. Who makes decisions? I agree who with that. Who follows. And so who are you surprised that black men are slut makers and black women are sluts? The only reason a black woman is a slut is because black men love sluts. <laughs> black men will stop being sluts when black men stop loving sluts. What is the That's state of black I, men today? Remember, remember I'm, I'll answer that in one second. Remember how you said, am I the head? The black man is the head. So he has to get in order. Right. And then the black woman gets in order. I, That's how it goes. I agree to that. What is the state of black men today? The state of black men is we're in total attack. The black man has been beaten down into powder. He's the one species on the planet that you can vilify, destroy, beat, kill, put in jail. And the minute he try to stand up, like when we do it, we're looked at as the Klan, or we're looked at as some black supremacist group. And when was that, all, didn't that happen by the white man or black mothers and grandmothers? They're the one did that to the boys? It happened by the seduction from the white man. That's why I said, when you go to, when you go into the seventies and you go to that feminist movement, Gloria Steinem, which was a white woman, yeah. Gloria Steinem worked along with the CIA to seduce black women, to kick their man out of the house. Amazing. That's why the Bible is such, the Bible is such a stronghold to the truth and understanding that black men and women need. What is you a, go back, because I'm tired, I'm sorry to rush you, but what is a man? When you, what do you mean when you say that? What is a man? A man, I'll speak for Israelites. A man is one that serves God and raises his nation with the spirit that the Most High gave him. And what is love? Love is keeping the commandments. Amazing. So I got to heat this up, man. I got to put you on the uh, hot seat. <laughs> so what I need is for, uh, so let me just ask real fast. Do you support that far left liberal radical group called Black Lives Matter, an organization of fat black radical lesbians? No, I do not. Okay. They're a part of the, they represent that feminist movement that, you know, their, their mantra is about the, the woman, the child, and the parent. So they're part of the problem because they want to remove the man, excuse me, they want to remove the man out of the house. 